Good evening and welcome to Bethesda's first ever E3 showcase. I assume that some of you in the audience have heard of a game called Doom before. Doom is a special part of each of our individual gaming histories, both personally and professionally. But the foundation of any Doom experience is unquestionably combat that's centered around three things. Badass demons, big effing guns. That's right. And moving really, really fast. Doom multiplayer is fast-paced, arena-style combat in locations ranging from UAC facilities on Mars to the depths of hell. You'll be challenged in exciting modes like Domination, Freeze Tag, and Clan Arena to annihilate your enemies using your own personal blend of skill, fast vertical movement, awesome guns, and very unique power-ups. We wanted to provide more and allow our fans to do more. So with this Doom, we asked, what if every player, regardless of platform or past experience, had the ability to build and instantly share their own creations? We are proud to announce Doom Snap Map, a custom-designed, built-in gateway to an endless stream of Doom experiences created by you. It's an easy-to-use in-game tool with uncompromising depth and capability. Without any past experience or special expertise, any player can easily snap together and customize intricate maps. We can't wait to get Doom into your hands in the spring of 2016 on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Over the last year, we've been working on how to expand how gamers create and share that content to our communities, how they connect, both to each other um, as well as to us. The result of that work is a new digital platform and it's called BethesdaNet. This is a home for all things Bethesda. BethesdaNet builds on our commitment to developing and supporting great AAA quality games. In fact, it was that commitment to quality and innovation that inspired us to found Battlecry Studios and their upcoming game, Battlecry. We'd like to say thank you to the millions of fans who played Dishonored. On behalf of our entire team, I can tell you uh, your passion was deeply gratifying. You inspired us. And so the reason we're here tonight is that we're super excited about showing you what comes next from us. In Dishonored 2, the Empire of the Isles is in jeopardy once more when an otherworldly usurper seizes the throne. This time, you have the choice to play as Corvo Itano or Emily Caldwin, a new character. Both have their own unique sets of powers, their own weapons and gadgets. And of course, you can combine these things creatively to eliminate your targets as you see fit. We'll tell you more as soon as we can, but what we're here tonight to say is that Dishonored 2 is coming and will be available for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Thank you so much. All right. And uh, while you wait for the new game, we have more of the original Dishonored for you to enjoy. It is Dishonored Definitive Edition. It comes with all the original game plus all of the add-on content, and all of it has been graphically enhanced for Xbox One and PS4. Five days ago, we launched the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited for the PS4 and Xbox One consoles. We're excited about what fans have to look forward to next, so here's a peek at what the team at ZeniMax Online Studios is bringing to Tamriel Unlimited this year. Tonight, we are pleased to announce The Elder Scrolls Legends, a strategy card game that builds on the rich legacy of Skyrim and The Elder Scrolls Online and brings the world of The Elder Scrolls to a completely new genre. We, we, did, we did Doom, right? We did Battlecry and... Please give a warm welcome to the game director of Bethesda Game Studios and my very good friend, Todd Howard. There are very few things as good as Fallout. 
One of the great things about Fallout is the world that existed before the bombs fell. And that is where our game starts. And this is where you create your character by simply selecting part of the face and sculpting. And of course, you can play as a female. This is an enormous dynamic world where you can create any kind of character you want, go where you want, and do whatever you want. You want to come with me, pal? OK, then. Let's stick together. Hey, head over there. Now to the cool stuff. <laughs> this is a, a very old photo from the future, um, of course, of the invention of the very first Pip-Boy. And of course, we have a new one in Fallout 4. This is where you find it when you leave the vault. We do have a layered armor system now. There are holotapes you can listen to, and some of these are even game tapes. We made a real one. Uh, this comes with our collector's edition. And yes, you can put your phone in it. And yes, we made an app for it. But we've also done something else for your smartphone and your tablets. A totally new game. It is called Fallout Shelter. And in it, you get to make your own vault. And you are the overseer controlling everything. This game is going to be free, but don't worry, there, there are no paywall timers. You don't need an internet connection. This game is coming out on the App Store tonight. So back to the, the big one. Uh, you know, we love building stuff in our games. So like many things, we have gone completely overboard. And here's how it works in the game. We're allowing your character, while playing, to rebuild. And this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope. And the game will tell you you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with, and now all of them have purpose. We really appreciate everybody's patience. You know, we didn't say anything for years in this game while everybody waited. Um, and we don't want you to wait too much longer. So we're happy to say Fallout 4 is coming out November 10th this year. Okay, that's it, folks. We hope you enjoyed our first ever E3 showcase. Thank you so much. Have a good